I had a kid brother, you know. He went missing in 1985. Got on his bike one day to go to our neighbors. Seven houses up the street. And he just vanished. Never came back. We looked for him for months. Dad never stopped. Still hands out flyers at the grocery store every Sunday. He even got an artist to draw a mage. Were there ever any leads or anything? No one really ever investigated it. Sure, they looked around for him. And for a week, they had a task force. They had one guy they suspected. But every lead fell through. You act like they even tried. A four-year-old black kid goes missing in a shit neighborhood, and you think they really tried? Yeah, it's just... It's complicated, Alex. I don't remember this being on the news or anything, and you're from Windtown, right? That's like an hour outside of Frankton. How the hell did this get national coverage? Isn't it obvious, man? Same reason no one gives a shit about Semi Sammy Park. I'm sure if Aaron had been a beautiful white woman, everyone would have cared that he vanished. Everyone would have had a candlelight vigil and a moment of silence. But that's just not how these things work. And you know what's funny? My dad is a lawyer, and my mom was an assistant to the governor. It's not like we were shit no one people, you know? It just wasn't news or whatever they told us. Alex, don't you think Sammy's parents tried to get some attention for their daughter's disappearance? It's not that easy. Those people you see on TV are people who can make a great story for the press. That's just the way it works. I... I don't think I ever gave it any thought. Yeah, man. That's just how they get away with it. People like you don't think about it. And people like us, it's all we ever get to think about. Where our kid brothers went. Don't you think it's weird that a young woman goes missing in your town and only people talking about it are some weirdo kids on the internet? And they aren't really talking about it for awareness. You guys get off on it in a way, don't you? Some fantasy about being the white knight swooping in and saving the exotic Korean girl. <laughs> Easy now. Okay, okay. Let's go find this record. <laughs> where, uh, uh where, where, do, where, do, where do we do that again? Just man up and say something to her. I... Nah, I, I don't think I should. It'd be, uh, good for you to learn to talk to girls before you go away to college. I know how to talk to girls, but she is a senior citizen, man. What is she, like, 27? Ew. That's your thing, man. I told you to cut it out with the age crap. She's probably no older than 24. And besides, aren't you the nubile one? You're much more desirable. Hmm, yes, that's true, I am. Listen here, boys. We have a zero creeping on women policy here. If you'd like to ogle some women, I'm sure your mothers would love it if you were home in time for supper. Get Marooners now on Steam. <laughs> The sky was red this morning. The wind was strong, carrying the smell of burnt plastic, which seemed out of place in the middle of this empty land. The wind brought weird smells sometimes, captured while blowing through vast chunks of wasteland all over the territory. The last few years have been good, and I hate to leave, but they are coming. You know it's me. Just let me in. What about all those repurposing threats? <laughs> I was just kidding. Having trouble, baby? Whoa. <laughs> hey, Irene. <clears throat> Please stop calling me baby. Come on, Naughty. Water under the bridge. More like a swamp. Shut up, Ollie. I'm fine, Irene. I just forgot my key at the factory. Would you like me to ask Arthur to get help from that creepy concierge of his? No, I don't want you to ask Arthur. I'll figure something out. 
See? Thanks, Ollie. Nod, wait. I need to talk to you about something. Would you... Would you like to come in? Not really, no. I have some damn fine Aurasian wine from one of my clients. We could talk about old times. <laughs> like when you first got your synthetic cords and they tuned them wrong. Yeah, the disaster at Demon's Armpit. You got so upset and drunk that I had to carry you home. Nod. Yeah, sorry. What did you want to talk about? Did Arthur buy the whole building now and wants to evict me? It's related to him, yes. You know how he's uncomfortable with us being friends? <laughs> totally not my problem. I understand. It's difficult for me, too. He can be jealous sometimes. That's an understatement. I know. We fight about it often. In fact, the last time was only a couple of days ago. It wasn't about you specifically. So nice to hear that. But it came up that you still have that photo from our vacation in Mira. And he got fixated on that. It happens sometimes. Things like that happen. Wait, you can't be serious. I am. Please, Nod. This is ridiculous. Nod, just get rid of that photo. Trust me, it's better this way. Much better. Irene? Oh, Syl. Irene, there you are. I knew I'd find you here. Nod. Arthur? Ollie? Having a pleasant conversation? Am I interrupting? Why talk here in the corridor? Go on. Have a drink at his place. He probably invited you. So what if I did? You controlling freak! Stop it, Nod. You too, Arthur. Nod just forgot his key and needed help, but it's, it's fine now. We're leaving. Come on, let's go. You don't have to ask me twice. I came here for you, not the other way around. Nod, do what I asked you to. Please. Bye, Irene. I hate that guy.